You know, soon after the protests at Stonewall, 40 years ago, the phone rang in the home of a soft-spoken elementary school teacher named Jean Manford. It was one in the morning, and it was the police. Now, her son Morty had been at the Stonewall the night of the raids. Ever since, he had felt within him a new sense of purpose. So when the officer told Jean that her son had been arrested, which was happening often to gay protesters, she was not entirely caught off guard. And then the officer added one more thing. And you know, he's homosexual. <laughs> well, that police officer sure was surprised when Jean responded, yes, I know. Why are you bothering him? And not long after, Jean would be marching side by side with her son through the streets of New York. She carried a sign that stated her support. People cheered. Young men and women ran up to her, kissed her, and asked her to talk to their parents. And this gave Jean and Morty an idea. And so after that march, on the anniversary of the Stonewall protests, amidst the violence and the vitriol of a difficult time for our nation, Jean and her husband Jules, two parents who loved their son deeply, formed a group to support other parents and, in turn, to support their children as well. At the first meeting Jean held in 1973, about 20 people showed up. But slowly, interest grew. Morty's life, tragically, was cut short by AIDS, but the cause endured. And today, the organization they founded for parents, families, and friends of lesbians and gays has more than 200,000 members and supporters it's made a difference for countless families across America. And Jean would later say, I considered myself such a traditional person. I didn't even cross the street against the light. <laughs> but I wasn't going to let anybody walk over Morty. That's the story of America of ordinary citizens organizing, agitating, and advocating for change, of hope stronger than hate, of love more powerful than any insult or injury, of Americans fighting to build for themselves and their families a nation in which no one is a second-class citizen, in which no one is denied their basic rights, in which all of us are free to live. And that's the promise we're called to fulfill day by day, law by law, changing mind by mind. That is the promise we are fulfilling. Thank you for the work you're doing. God bless you.